The Vaisen Rapperfeld High Water Channel is one of the measures in the National Room for the River programme, which provides better flood protection for areas near the country's rivers. The High Water Channel will be located between Vaisen and Vaperfeld, 15 kilometres to the south of Zwolle. It will be used only when water levels reach extreme highs, when it will reduce the water level in the Isel River by 71 centimetres. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. The rest of the time, as now, the area will be used for farming. The channel will not be dug out, but formed by building two dikes measuring approximately 8 kilometres. The width of the channel will vary between 500 and 1500 metres. There will be an inlet, an outlet, two new pumping stations and two bridges. These bridges near Kerkdijk and Werverdijk will safeguard access to the area to the east of the channel when it is in use. The Kerkdijk bridge and the inlet structure will be at the south end of the channel near Vaisen. Here, a part of the Isel dike will be taken out, creating a new floodplain. At the same time, the Kerkdijk will be replaced by a bridge for motorised traffic. A movable inlet structure will be positioned below the bridge. There will be a separate cycle path to the south of the bridge. When the water level is high, cyclists will use the bridge itself. When the water level reaches 5 meters and 65 centimeters, the inlet structure will be lowered and water will flow into the channel. The present Ververdijk will be taken out at two locations and replaced by a bridge. The bend in the dike near the Kromer Kop will be preserved for historical reasons. The Ververdijk bridge will be open to both motorised traffic and cyclists. To the north of the dike, there is a natural ridge and a summer embankment, which will be strengthened. They protect the area of the channel when water levels are normal. The embankment forms the end of the channel. It will include an outlet structure through which the water will flow away after the channel has been in use. Pumping stations will be used to remove the remaining water. New pumping stations will be built in the western and eastern dikes. This is an artist's impression of the Dornbos pumping station, which will be built in the western dike. The stations are used to manage the water in the area. The existing roads in the channel area will be preserved and the network of cycle paths will be extended. A new natural area will be created on the western side of the channel, between the western dike and the Grote Wetering. It will be home to nature and recreation. There will be a canoeing route on the Grote Wetering. The northern section of the channel includes a bird sanctuary, where birds nest in the spring, such as redshanks, snipes and black-tailed godwits. From the cycle path on the western dike, cyclists and other day-trippers will have a fantastic view of this bird sanctuary. When the channel is in use, trees and vegetation must not interfere with the flow of the water, so trees and bushes will be cut down in many parts of the area. Characteristic lanes like here on the Steche and Plakenweg will be preserved in a few locations. To the south of the inlet, there will be a relaxation area with a panoramic view of the Isel and the floodplain. From there, there will be a cycle path following the line of the old Isel dike. There are also plans for a footpath in the new floodplain. The Vaisen Rapperfeld High Water Channel is part of the National Room for the River program. The program as a whole provides better flood protection for areas near the country's rivers.